Hello everyone, myself, uh, I am Dr. Sunita Mulinti, a senior radiation oncologist at American Oncology Institute, Nalagandla. So today we will be uh, talking about uh, radiotherapy machines and what exactly happens when a patient is taken up for radiation therapy. We are right now located in a uh, treatment machine uh, room. This is our uh, latest uh, true beam machine. Uh, it is a machine which is revolving all around. So what exactly is a linear accelerator? A linear accelerator is a machine which produces X-rays by itself. Earlier, uh, 20 years back, when we used to treat uh, uh, radiotherapy patients on machine, we used to have only radionuclide elements, that is a, a cobalt or a cesium. So, uh, we always used to have uh, high reactions and uh, radiotherapy accidents also have been recorded and uh, uh, published in literature. So, now we have this latest equipment where the radiation e exposure will happen only when the machine is switched on. So, this is our uh, uh, machine where uh, uh, you can see that uh, the patient can uh, happily lie on a couch flat on the machine and then the machine will be comfortably revolving around the machine, uh, around the patient. So, uh, what we do with a radiation therapy uh, uh, patient? Whenever a patient is decided for radiation therapy, the first day of treatment, what we do is uh, we take up the patient onto the treatment machine, we take the measurements and that process we call it as a CT simulation process. In this CT simulation process, we, uh, uh, I mean, uh, see the comfortable position of the patient, how they are lying on the machine. And then uh, once the CT scan is done, all those films will be transferred into our planning systems. In that planning system, we draw the targets and uh, whatever the areas have to be treated with radiation, we draw them. And uh, uh, apart from the treatment uh, uh, targets, we also draw all the normal critical structures which have to be avoided with radiation. Once the plan is ready, we do a quality analysis test, which is again a dummy patient which is uh, kept on the machine and we see whether the plan is exactly matching to our desired, uh, I mean desired uh, constraints. Once everything is ready, we take up the patient on the, onto the machine and the patient will be lying comfortably on the couch and the machine will be revolving around the patient. So what happens here, majority of the patients whenever they come for radiation therapy, they think that this machine is going to hurt them. They have a feeling that uh, it's a, a kind of shock treatment or uh, something like a current or uh, uh, which passes in entire uh, body and you will be in discomfort and distress and pain while during the treatment. But exactly it is not that what happens. While treatment, the patient will not even know that treatment is undergoing and uh, uh, I mean, we, you never know when the treatment uh, happens and when the treatment ends. So this is how a uh, radiation treatment works out. So uh, during radiation therapy, what happens is the patient might have some amount of side effects and these side effects are related to the part of the body whichever is getting treated. Not all patients will have a similar kind of side effects. Suppose you are treating a head and neck patient. In that case, you will have more of mouth ulcers, uh, dryness of the mouth and a problem in swallowing. Uh, such problems can happen. So for this uh, process, for all these side effects, in order to reduce the amount of side effects, we do have certain high-end techniques called uh, IGRT, gating and other techniques where suppose you see this machine, this machine is integrated with a cone beam CT within the machine itself. That means the treatment machine is incorporated with a diagnostic CT also so that every day we take an imaging and with that imaging we say whether the uh, desired plan, what we have planned for that patient is exactly matching for that day or not and then only we treat the patient. In that way we can reduce the uh, maximum to some extent we can reduce the side effects of treatment. This is how we treat the radiation therapy patients.